Good morning and welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog and of course if you're joining me for the first time then hello, welcome to my channel. Please stick around and subscribe if you like weekly vlogs because do them every week. This Monday morning with it being a bank holiday Monday, myself and Tom have the day free to try and complete this garden. So if you're joining me from last week's because um, last week's I kind of ended it at this stage telling you that we were going to potentially Ikea today, home since TK Maxx, B&Q, that kind of thing, to just finish off the garden. I will leave the weeks previously so you can see what it looked like before, but essentially it was just sand and rubble and rubbish along here, yellow walls, so we've whitened it with white walls, grey gravel. So yes, that is this morning, so we're gonna head off now and do some shopping. Our first stop is this, which is a place local to us called Brand Interiors, and apparently they have like discounted furniture, so I think you may be table and chairs outside, we'll see. You know you can have little stands where you can set up your camera like that. Interior shop didn't really have anything, did it? They said they were due to get some more in, but we can't wait. We are headed to Leeds now to pick up our hammock, which I've just bought on my phone and done click and collect, so it's ready for us now. Yes, we're getting a hammock <laughs> for our little garden. And then we're gonna head to Ikea because um, apparently they do like bank holiday specials, but we've got our eyes on a couple of bits for like table, chairs, a bench, that kind of thing. And then, in fact, I think we should do Home Sense first, just in case they have any like one off pieces. And also, I'm quite keen for like a garden mirror, maybe. I think it'll open it up a little bit. So, Home Sense sometimes have them. I'm actually still playing. I don't know this song. I've never heard of it. Just currently using the sun trap to dry my trousers because who spilled water all over them? You did it. I grabbed your leg and you spilled Ow. water. Well, somehow the water ended up all over here, which means I feel like I've wet myself. But we're stuck in a little bit of traffic, but it is bank holiday, what can you expect? And it does say that there's been a crash. I think it's because he's not his final destination isn't the races, it's not a pub, it's Ikea. <laughs> oh, and another note, we started watching Handmaid's Tale, which is really good. And then even though you slept through an episode last night, it was really good. So I think we should watch a couple tonight, what do you think? I have to go back there. What do you mean? I have to go back one morning. I can, well, the recap, I can tell you what happened. Yay. <laughs> well, you should have stayed awake. First stop to pick up the hammock. Next stop, tables and chairs. Nothing in home since, unfortunately, so now we're off to Ikea. I think we're gonna go for these tables without that cushion, so the table folds up, and there's your chair. Because these are only 10 pounds and the table's 15. And we're finished. We've got lots of plants and greenery and some troughs for along the top of the wall. We've got some tomato plants as well. And then next stop is somewhere for food and then do up the garden, see how it looks for now and then we can always add more, can't we? And we're back. These troughs from B&Q, we just about got the right amount, which is perfect. We've got some compost down there. <coughs> That's me. And then we've got our little tomato plants, which I think you're meant to grow in the ground, but we're gonna just try and grow it from the trough, I think. The ivy was much better from Ikea because they're already quite well grown out, whereas the B&Q ones were literally just a few leaves. So I'm gonna declothe tan because I'm in Manchester filming tomorrow, so I wanna make sure I'm nice and bronzed for that. Get on like a nice loose summer's dress, crack on with the garden with Tom, and then that's the plan for this afternoon. Maybe actually have a chance to sit in it as well if we get a moment, but that's the plan. Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday today? 
Thursday. No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm so confused with the bank holiday weekend. I'm here with Lydia again. We are getting ready to film today. She's there again. <laughs> but she's my new bestie. She's my blogger bestie. We are at this gorgeous location, 20 stories, which you'll have seen in a couple of weeks ago uh, when we came for the label mix lunch, which yeah. this was gifted to me at. So we've got a videographer today, so we're feeling very professional. Uh, getting our trailers done, so. Oh, yeah. I know, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. It'll be 60 seconds long, it'll be nice and professional. We're a bit stressing, we're a bit sweaty because it's quite warm outside and train's cancelled, had to get a car in in the end and uh, we're here, we're here. So anyway, yes, I will show you a little few sneak peeks today but not too much because I want to save it for the trailer. And then um, heading back later on this evening and a pretty standard rest of the week. So welcome to Wednesday, Bye. Tuesday. Bye. So Lydia is just currently filming her little section in Jo Malone and then we're about to get a nice little hand massage as well which we love getting. Highly recommended book in if, if you're a Jo Malone fan as well. Just a nice little pamper session, maybe do it with your mum as well or your girly friends. A glass of champagne as well, I can see mine waiting for me over there. I've gone for Basil and Neroli. We've come to Foundation Coffee House again because this is our new favourite spot and I think I'm gonna get, oh, they've not got the banana cake again. Look at that, kale parmesan and pine nut. That might be quite nice, actually. And an iced coffee because it's boiling. Although we're That's making good right. progress. We are making good progress. Right. See ya. So I'm now back in, I'm just waiting for someone. I said I'm going someone trying to give us a ticket and we said we're going now and he's just knocked on my window being like you've not gone yet anyway um yes fab day shooting in manchester really really successful day i feel like i'm very shiny um where's tom gone now i'm not sure what our plans are this evening i think it's already like four-ish now so I still have a couple of hours in the working day, so I'm sure we'll be going back and getting some more work done. And then probably watching more of The Handmaid's Tale because I'm really into that at the minute. We're about three or four episodes in and I am loving it. It's so good. It is intense, but it is really good. Good morning. Today is actually Thursday and let me just brighten that up a bit. And I'm just heading off to Booze now to grab some breakfast for myself and Tom. Both working from home today, so fighting for the best seat. I always win. Admin day today. Um, got a few errands to run if I get a chance. Just want to show you this jumpsuit today, which is from, I think it's from either Misguided or Pretty Little Thing. I can't remember. I'll try and link it below. And Primark Cardi. Coffee, phone, laptop. This is my workstation today in the kitchen because somebody else has taken mine. I have a couple of parcels to show you. I've also had um, something that I wanted to show you that I picked up from Manchester. <sighs> Went down on the bed. So annoying. Which one did she use? Grapefruit, I think. I love their packaging as well. So they very kind of gifted us the Basil, well I got the Basil and Neroli body cream in 175 milliliters. So I'll leave it linked below, but this smells incredible. I really, really like it. And the fragrance that they gifted us is 100 mils, which I think this is the biggest fragrance I've ever owned. I've got these two small ones. These are 30 mils. I got this one a while ago. This one is the Blackberry and Bay. And then also this one, English Pear and Freesia. Again, it's very light and fruity, which I prefer a bit more like musky or like earthy. Like I love Basil and Neroli. It smells so fresh. My all-time favourite Jo Malone fragrance is this one, which is Merentonka. It's very, oh, it's very musky. In fact, let's layer because they do fragrance combine at Jo Malone. This one is definitely more suited to winter, but I think by combining it with a lighter fragrance for summer or just going for the lighter fragrance in summer is really nice for, you know, just for a bit of a lighter scent rather than, and then the Merentonka I'll put 
like I said, in winter, but also like in the evening. If I'm feeling a bit glam, I'll put on my favourite one. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you them. And then also, where have I just put those two packages behind me? The first one is from Catalyst PR. Macadamia Natural Oil, which I've tried their products before. However, I'm yet to try this. This is the Deep Repair Mask, and I've been advised that I need to do more hair masks. So... Really happy that I've got this one to try out. Okay, this is from a brand called The Skinny Cafe. I think this was part of something from hashtag the social edit. This is cute, mermaid to be different, hey little beauty. Oh, cool. I thought it was just gonna be a notebook, but it's not. It's got loads of different uh, weekly reflections, food diaries, and that kind of thing. Cool. Thanks for sending that. And then also, like I said, Skinny Cafe. We have coffee in French vanilla, yum. We also have chocolate velvet, hot chocolate, mm, delish. And then this, which is apple cider vinegar. I've tried in the form of liquid, but these are tablets. Now I'm gonna crack on and tidy that later and get some editing done i have had a really productive day yesterday that's pretty much all i was doing and today i'm gonna start editing sunday's weekly vlog and have my wrappers have a nice little coffee so yeah what do you think of this jumpsuit what do you think of my jumpsuit oh, nice. oh loves it can you see what brand it says baby can you see what that friend says Pretty little thing. Pretty little thing it's from. So yes, if they've still got it, I'll leave it linked below. We are just about to head out and go to the skip because we have some um, rubbish left over from going through the garden whilst we've been doing it up. So we need to drop that off and then it's in Burnley. So whilst we're there, I'm finally gonna be able to see the new Primark, which Tom's already seen. You beat me to it. I was singing this earlier. I don't mean. How are you enjoying the hammock? Not good. Well, good. I haven't had a chance to go in it yet because Tom won't let me. <laughs> I'll show it to you later, they haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, off to Burnley. Burnley. Let's get rid of all this. This is a new experience for me. Never been to a tip before? Never. You can see in the distance there those grey buildings, kind of. We'll go past them in a minute. Massive big warehouse, which is Boohoo. I didn't um, realise until moving here that Boohoo was actually based in Burnley, the main like stock warehouse thing. But look, you can see it there, it's massive. That's the first, just half of it, and that's the other half. It's massive. If you didn't know, all these brands are involved. Nasty Gal, Boohoo, Boohoo Man, and Pretty Little Thing. We've pit stopped at TK Maxx, which I'm not complaining about. We looked at this last time we came, but we don't have a tree to put it round, unfortunately. So now we're looking at this. 34.99 that one. The Laura Ashley one that we saw in Leeds was 19.99. This is my not happy face right now because that Primark trip has ended up costing me more than I wanted to because the queues were horrendous. It was so busy despite it being like middle of the day, midweek. And I'm sorry to say it, but Primark Burnley, you've tainted my image of Primark. And I won't be rushing back to that one because it was just, oh, the whole experience was not an ideal one. And the fact that I was queuing for so long to do like a return on a pair of jeans and I ended up picking up a new pair of jeans. And that ended up costing me a parking ticket because it, I was literally like running back and the guy was there. He was like, I'm sorry, you're 10 minutes late. Oh, I just want to scream. <sighs> There's worse things going on in the world. I have to remember that. I've just head back now, packed up. I'm going to get some work done, like a couple of hours work. Has anyone ever got a parking ticket? It's so annoying. It's literally the worst feeling. It's just, especially when he's there, like having just signed the thing and said, sorry, like, if you were a couple of minutes earlier, I wouldn't have been here, so... <sighs> anyway, moving on. 
You want to see what I got from Primark? I did actually get a gorgeous pair of straight leg jeans. I wish they had these in white. Um, I love the wash of them. The hem is like so, so it's just a tiny little bit frayed. And I don't usually go for straight leg, but the fit of those was really nice. And then I also just picked up a little bandeau which has this like crochet detailing on it's not a bandeau because it's got straps a little crop top and that was only four pounds okay just running out now to go grab tom from the bar he's um done with his meeting and he has on order some flatbreads for myself him and his mum i think we're going to take them up to his mum's so I'll literally just pick him up he'll run in with the food then we'll go up to his mum's for dinner and that is pretty much this evening. Hopefully we're not going to be there too long because I'm really into Handmaid's Tale. As much as I love his mum, I do love Handmaid's Tale. I'm really into it right now. Someone just watching me vlogging. <laughs> oh, awkward. We're on a mission this morning to find a gas bottle for the pizza oven because I think Tom's going to take it to the bar and do it more of like a mass production, we'll see. Um, so I thought I would vlog today. I didn't vlog yesterday just because... Well, I thought it was going to be a home day. I ended up going to watch Tom play cricket, but that wasn't until late because it was a 2020 match, so evening time. Quick outfit of the day. These are my new Primark jeans. They're just straight leg, and I really like the fit of these. Tom likes them, don't you? You look good in them. Thanks. And then this little top is Primarni number as well, £4. As is this. All Primark today. Wherever we're picking up this gas bottle, I think we're going to go grab some, not even breakfast, but lunch because... What time is it? About half a... Intermittent fasting, apparently we're doing. Read it! More of an accident. Did you ring, did you ring me last night? Tom's just realised we've just got to the car and he's forgotten the car keys. So he's just running back. But whilst we're on the topic of outfit of the day, I'll continue with this necklace. It's actually, my dad got this for me when he went away once to Saudi Arabia maybe. So it is real gold, but I can't find like, I'll find a dupe or a link that I can link below. Um, but it's just a plain gold. I love the simple kind of design to it. A uh, little Gucci belt and office shoes, but these are quite old. So I found some alternatives. I think they're on ASOS. So if they're still available, I'll leave them linked below. And another note, no mascara day. I feel so weird, but Tom says I actually suit it. I actually, forgot mascara and let me find good lighting and he said he kind of likes the no mascara so we're rocking it today i feel a little bit naked but we're gonna make it work oh come on open sesame yay Boo. yum no no forget it now love there's loads, isn't there? And then our olive tree is slowly but surely growing some olives, if you can see there. There they are. Oh, Tom. This is Desperate Housewives. Um, Desperate Housewives. I always say Desperate Housewives. It's not. It's Housewives of Cheshire. I'm um, just catching up on like that final episode that they do whilst doing some ironing and putting some clothes away. Generally, just getting on top of everything before. Well, whilst I've got an afternoon not really doing anything, the weather outside is pretty miserable and it's still warm, but it's it's definitely like a bit more, you know, overcast and a bit drizzly and everything. So I'm going to just stay in for the rest of the afternoon, just get on top of housework and little bits whilst catching up on some TV. Tom has now gone to the bar to work this evening at the restaurant and nightclub. And yeah, so he'll probably not finish up until the early hours of the morning and then he's got cricket tomorrow afternoon. Again, forecast rain tomorrow, so I'm probably going to have these next two days to just get on top of a bit of housework, a bit of tidying up, a bit of organisation in my life. And that's about it. So I've just taken this little outfit picture in our new garden. If you saw that picture on Instagram, let me know. As for now, cracking on with housework.
Firstly, it's absolutely boiling in this car, so excuse my appearance right now. It's Sunday, I've um, dropped Tom off at Cricket, and I think what I'm gonna do is go back home and just get stuff done, you know? I was starting to sort through things yesterday, and I feel like, what time is it? It's probably nearly three o'clock now, and I've ended up just spending today going into Burnley, taking some things back to me, and then I ended up buying some more bits. I. Uh, in fact, I'll show you them when I get home, but I also went into Poundland and I want to film a Poundland haul on Monday because I have quite a few things from the last couple of trips that I've been to Poundland. So, um, yeah, planning on trying to film that month tomorrow and today I'm pretty much just going to go back home now, get stuff done. I'm in my gym gear so I might head back via the gym, do a little workout because we've not been in a while. And I also haven't had any water today yet and it's boiling so I think I'm very dehydrated right now. So, I drink up my mini water bottle, <laughs> look how small it is. Uh, head to the gym, head back home and then catch you in a bit. <laughs> Workout done, I'm done. Finally back home, oh, fair mission. I did end up going to the gym, so I had a really good workout, but I have like no energy right now because A, I was dehydrated, I haven't drunk enough water yet today. And also I only had a sausage sandwich this morning from Booth's and a coffee, and that's all I've had all day. And it's now, just gone four o'clock, so I actually picked up two salads. They were two for three pounds, and I figured um, this is the one that I wanted, the spiced chicken and whole wheat pasta salad, um, but it didn't have much green in it. So I got this, which is pretty much just a basic ham and egg salad. So if I don't finish all that, it doesn't really matter. And then I bought treats because it's still the weekend, isn't it, after all? And um, I picked up some mini magnums i saw mini milk and i was like oh i could get some old school mini milks but then i didn't end up doing that and i just went for the magnums because they're on offer and they're more naughty aren't they mm. another thing i've just taken out the bed sheets washing and for the first time i put a cap full of zaflora in and i used the lavender one just because that's all we've got at the minute and it smells really nice. They're just hung out to dry at the minute, but it like fills the room with a nice smell as well. Um, the only thing is the lavender I like for like the bedroom bedding and everything, but I also quite like, I feel like it probably isn't my favorite. So a um, little spoiler for the Poundland haul coming up, but I did buy some more of Flora. So I went for Linen Fresh and another one, I can't remember. But I'm definitely gonna do that from now on. Because I never use fabric softener or anything like that. I just put in like fairy non-bio. If I add too much, it can get a bit irritate. Like my skin can get a bit irritated. So I'll see how the floor goes because it's an antibacterial. I'm guessing it should be fine. Um, so yeah, just a little tip there. If, if ever you guys uh, use the floor but don't put it in your washing. It smells really good. Mmm. I keep going, mmm. Because I think of another thing I want to tell you about. I revived some cacti. They were pretty much on their last legs. And I've just, they were in these concrete planters, but I bought some more from Poundland, which again, you'll see in the Poundland haul, which I'm going to depot them into. But literally, this was that brown colour all over. I thought I'd completely lost it. A day later, with just some water, it's bright green again. And these ones are sprouting new ones, as is this one that's appeared. Also, this has appeared. Ugh. How do we get cats to stop pooing in our garden? I think they must like just like our spot because it's quite quiet. And they just seem to have picked it when the garden was a mess, which I can kind of understand because it was easy for them to, like the underlay was sand, so they'd just easily like dig and bury it, which is gross, I know, but it is what it is. But then when we've cleared it out and we've graveled it and everything, it still seems to be their spot to come and have a poo. So how do we stop cats from coming to our garden? Is there some kind of like opposite to catnip that you can put down? I don't want to like endanger them or anything, but I want to keep them clear of our garden. It's so annoying. Any tips, let me know. Britain's got turn up final tonight, which for you guys will have been last week. And also Love Island starts tomorrow which again, 
by the time you're watching this it'll already have been on for a week so who's your favorite what are you thinking first impressions on who's who's in it for the long haul or who's in it just for the fame mm, i love love island i think the way that it's filmed is brilliant i keep getting um suggested videos on my youtube channel to watch the love island the love island australia one so i keep watching sneak picket sneak pickets sneak peek whatever <laughs> little videos from the love island australia but i don't know if we can actually stream it and watch it in the uk what are we thinking of love island uk this year i loved it last year the year before and the year before that i watched all of them um and they were on netflix the first two seasons i wish the third season was on netflix because i'd have loved to catch up on last caught up on last year's in fact speaking of which i think i'm gonna put on youtube finish off this salad i'm gonna have a nice hot shower tonight and wash my hair and I have a bit of a pamper bit of a face mask okay ending this week's weekly vlog on a little mini poundland haul Ooh, you're a little bit high there I ended up picking just up a couple of bits uh mostly shoes one two three pairs of shoes so i picked up three new pairs of sandal type shoes the first one being these which i love the crochet like flip-flop style and this bit i'm guessing is faux leather in the middle um, they're only £4 and I love like browns and whites at the minute so I just figured they're a staple flip flop to you know like a go to flip flop for any outfit that I pretty much have in my wardrobe okay I also picked up these which not really my style but then I, I tried them on and I'm envisaging these like on an evening on holiday because they're very glitzy but they're quite simple in terms of they're, they're quite thin and I tried these on like I said in the store under the lights and they were just glitzing everywhere so so pretty they had them like with a silver undertone and then these ones with like a gold undertone it's like a champagne gold and honestly i feel like this with a tan and just a little white dress on a summer's holiday when you don't want to wear heels because i very rarely wear heels when abroad um but just a glitzy flip-flop because i don't actually have any i only have like standard flip-flops because these are just like a foam base they're nothing heavy duty or anything like that they're literally just a flip-flop and these have just got a bit more to them they were also four pounds in a size six and then the last pair that i got were my favorite because i actually have these in two other colors they are the not style mule sandals which you're gonna struggle to see there because it's uh black but if you can see, there's like a knot detail there on the top. So I got them in black. I already have these in like a blue and white stripe. And then my favourite pair are a satin like corally nude. I wish they had like a brownie nude. But black is another staple colour that I just feel like... When I put these on, they made my legs or like my feet look even more tan than what they are. And I do have a little bit of fake tan on at the minute, but um, yeah, I just really like them. I think, like I said, black is a staple colour to have in your wardrobe. I do size up in these. I go to a size 7 uh, because I think the width here is quite like tight, quite narrow, even though it doesn't rub because it's a soft material. Like to get my foot into them, I do have to go for a 7 again only four pounds and then the last two things i picked up were these scrunchies i got two packs both were one pound fifty i kind of wish you could buy these scrunchies individually like 50p each because i would have probably gone for definitely this one definitely this one this is like a beige and white striped one and this is like a tan camel colored i do quite like these two as well and that one i would never wear that purple one to be honest i think i'd rarely wear this one because it is quite like orangey red but this one i love this one i love and then these two i probably would wear especially this one as well um i just feel like scrunchies are kind of a thing at the minute and i wear my hair up quite a lot so it's just to add a little extra little touch for when i do wear my hair up just like the headbands as well i really like them so i did keep my eyes out for some in primark but they didn't seem to have any that guys sums up this week so i hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog i'm not really sure how long this one's gonna be you'll you'll know yourself by watching it um i never know when i'm filming them how long they're gonna be so hopefully it's around about the same mark as the last 
however many, 22, 23 weeks have been. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you do like my weekly vlogs and subscribe if you haven't already. It means so much to me and I will leave all my social media links down below as always for you guys to follow. And if you have any questions or just want to chat, leave me a comment down below and I try and respond to everybody. So I will see you next time. Bye guys.